we haven't designed the kit. We've built the kit, so we've built it from the inside out. That brought us to a real craft element of how every single component was considered. Most shirts are actually cut straight, so we've actually cut it that comes in at the waist, comes back out over the hips. So it has this fitted form, so we're not doing small, medium and regular. We're now doing 42, 44, 48 chest sizes. That's where the beauty of it is, because that actually helped us craft an incredible form. Every seam is uniquely different. The shoulder seam was actually inspired by the original 66 kit. It was Alf Ramsey who actually requested that the shoulder seam be removed. And the reason for that is because he wanted a friction-free seam. So the side seam is a double stitch, so when you're pulling the shirt, it's actually helping the garment. On the scapular area here, we have shoulder darts to improve body fit. Players now are wearing base layers with the shirts, but they're not necessarily designed together, so we've actually crafted the two to move together. We have a rib construction that articulates and moves with the body. So this is cut under the arm for increased ventilation and increased flexibility. This area here is more articulated that works with the same rib technique in relation to the underarm. So this is the same rib construction as the underarm and the forearm, which works really well in combination with the articulation over the shoulder and at the elbow point. With the collar area, we have a new collar construction that's been cut open with a single button placket, which allows for greater flexibility when it's put onto the body, allows for ventilation through the top collar. With the under collar stand, which is a new woven construction, that allows the collar to fall down and to lay flat against the body to stop it flapping around in normal football conditions. You would think it's insignificant how a name and number is applied, but we've taken the name and number and delivered it in a very similar way to how numbers used to be applied, because numbers used to be actually fabric on fabric. So we've taken that thinking and brought two fabrics together and laser cut them and bonded them on. So rather than hand stitch them on, as these old numbers used to be, we've actually taken the same process, but laser cut and bonded it all around the edge. Rather than using mesh this time, we've used perforated holes, specifically pierced into the fabric. And that's both on the underarm and in the center back in the lumbar region. And that's to create an airflow around the body. But those holes, not only are they very technically clever, they've actually been derived from the roses. So if you actually look at the position of the roses, that's how we actually created the hole position on the bottom. We wanted to keep a real sense of purity about it, and we stripped it back of all the clutter. You know, I guess the real exciting bit is tailoring as a term being, you know, actually constructing an object for the body, from the body.